welcome to Mohawk Meets the Masters of Media. I'm your host, Benjamin Garrett. And I'm Chris Patterson. My sidekick. Uh, that's the host. Yeah, yeah, everybody's got an ego. Yeah, tell me about it. So today's a very exciting episode. We're connecting you live with our correspondent and professor, Atul Rao. He's in beautiful Miami, Florida at this year's NAPP conference. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the conference. NAPP, which is the National Association of Television Program Executives, is one of the world's largest television conferences. So, here we go. Mohawk, what's my name? Hi, Atul. How's it's everything going down there at NAPP? Oh, you can't believe how great it is, man. How, how's, uh, how's the weather over there? Oh, it's fantastic. You know, rainy and snowy and cold. You know Canada. It's so, it's just like that here. <laughs> really. It's like eight. <laughs> uh, so if I could give uh, Peter a little intro. He co-created Frasier and Wings and was producer and writer on hits like Cheers and The Jeffersons. With 15 Emmy nominations and seven wins, including a Golden Globe, People's Choice Award, and Producer of the Year, we are honored and privileged to welcome Peter Casey. Thank you so much for joining us, Peter. Oh, thank you for having me. So uh, how have you been enjoying NAPI so far? Uh, it's been great. We. Uh... I did a session this uh, this morning with uh, my old pal Steve Levitan, who's the uh, creator of Modern Family, and uh, we uh, we had a good time. Uh, had a wonderful dinner with the group from uh, 20th Century Fox last night, and looking forward to a, uh, a, a dinner tonight that's going to be honoring Steve with the Brandon Tartikoff Award. Yeah, so you mentioned. I mean, tonight you'll be honored at the uh, the 10th annual Tar Brandon Tartikoff Awards. Uh, which, I mean, which truly makes you a major name in the television industry. Uh, is there anything you can tell us about any new projects you may be working on right now? Um, I have pretty much retired, although I have a uh, screenplay that I have written with a couple of friends of mine that uh, we actually wrote it a few years ago, but it's now it's starting to get some interest again, and uh, we're going to be taking some meetings on that. So we'll see where that goes. So, Peter, if it's all right with you, our second-year students who study script writing and independent production have a few questions for you. First person Absolutely. we have is Maurice Carmier. Hi, Pete. Uh, Hi. I have a question uh, to ask you. Um, what, what is your advice to writers that want to break into comedy series, specifically since you created Crazer and it's a comedy? I wanted to know how did you got how did you got into the business? What would be your advice for people who want to write comedy? Okay. Um, well, I, I studied broadcasting in college with the idea of actually being an anchor man. And uh, oddly enough, I found the news too depressing. So I started taking some script writing classes. And um, when I graduated from college, I, three days after graduation, I moved to Los Angeles um, with the idea that I'd probably give it a year, maybe a year and a half to try and break in, which was really unrealistic. It takes longer than that. But I, I, I came down here and I, I met uh, the guy who was going to ultimately become my writing partner, David Lee. And David and, and, David and I started writing scripts. We, did, we just were, would watch television and pick particular shows that we enjoyed. And we would write scripts and we, we were able to find an agent. But we weren't selling anything. It took us three and a half years of, uh, of writing these scripts and getting rejections before we finally sold our first script. But I really think it's, I think it's, uh, if you want to get into the sitcom business in, in Hollywood, you do need to come to Los Angeles. Thanks, Pete. Okay. Thanks, Peter. Next up, we have Jacqueline Grant. Hi. Uh, what was it like to co-create one of the best comedies in television history? What was it like? Yeah. It was pretty darn great. It was, uh, you, in, it, you always uh, set out to, to try to do the best work you can do. And uh, having worked on uh, Cheers and produced Cheers, um, I, I saw what it was like to be involved in, in the best show on television. But 
that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be fortunate enough to to have that happen to you when you create your own show. And um, I, Frazier was just one of those instances where everything seemed to come together perfectly between um, coming up with a, a terrific cast, having a good first script, being able to... We, we were following uh, Cheers that season after Cheers had gone off the air, so we literally inherited the whole Cheers crew, uh, people we had worked with before, so it made it a seamless transition. But you still never know how it's going to turn out when it finally goes on the air, and then to have the show immediately uh, accepted and be a hit, it was, it was a wonderful... It's a very gratifying feeling. I'm I'm enjoying my time down here with Steve Levitan because I can see him going through the exact same thing that my partners and I went through with Frazier. He's he's going through with Modern Family. Cool. And is there uh, any new projects that you're going to be thinking about that you'd like to share with us? Uh, no, no new no? projects for television. No, no. Okay. I I did I did 25, 25 great years, but. Uh, Television right now, I don't have anything on the on the burn. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You would have made a good anchor man, actually. Yeah, <laughs> you really have the voice for it. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. And finally, we have our last question from Amanda Jalowicka. Hi, um, I just wanted to know when building your production teams, do you look at kind of personality elements of each team member, or do you just kind of look at their skills and techniques? Well, uh, the way we, we built our teams for both uh, uh, Wings and, and Frazier was uh, my two partners and I, David, David, David and myself, we, we were mostly concerned with the idea of building a good writing staff because that's who we were going to be working with day in and day out. Um, and then we hired a great line producer for each show and the line producer was the one who was really tapped into who all the, the best uh, you know trade people were, the best camera people and lighting. And we let her take care of putting our crews together. As I said, with Frazier, we were fortunate enough that we were coming on right after Cheers went off the air. So we not only inherited the entire Cheers crew, who we knew quite a few of from our years working on the show, but we, we moved on to stage 25 at Paramount, which is where the Cheers set was. and. The three weeks after Cheers went off the air, they had dismantled the bar, moved it out, and they were bed for Frasier. So it was all very comfortable and familiar territory for us. But in terms of finding the crew, uh, Maggie Blanc, who was our, our line producer on Frasier, she, she did that, and she, she put together a great group. Thank you. You're very welcome. So uh, on behalf of Mohawk College, we want to thank you so much for your time. Uh, your work has been an influence on all of us as well as the entire television medium. Uh, enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to be All right, and thank you very much for watching Mohawk Meets the Masters of Media, and thank you to all of those who participated in our Q&A with Peter Casey. I'm Benjamin Garrett. And I'm Chris Patterson. Look for more episodes with live footage from this year's NAPI conference and get in the loop on what's happening in the industry today. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. <laughs>